Good morning, everybody. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the airport. Uh, if you saw our last video, mm -hmm. we were in El Nido, and yeah. you'd think that this is El Nido Airport, but it's actually Puerto Princesa. Yes, yeah, so we took a five or six hour bus ride from El Nido to Puerto Princesa. Just the other day, we were supposed to come here to Puerto Princesa to do a fun activity, but it's been canceled two days in a row. Yeah. So instead of showing you that fun activity, we are showing you our travel day all the way from, where are we? Puerto Princesa to Baracay, which is our destination for today. We got a layover in Manila, yeah. so that's it's gonna be, it's gonna make for a very nice long travel day. Well, so no, I think we've got like a boat ride at the end or something. There's, yeah, there's gonna be uh, plane rides and boat rides yeah, and, and tricycles, tricycles and, and we're not 100% sure about how this day is gonna no. pan out, but I think We I don't think really know how to get there, but I think we're gonna be fun. Yeah, we just like read a blog or two and <laughs> that should be enough. <laughs> So we skipped breakfast this morning. It's now 7.30. I think we got half an hour until we board. So it looks like at the top of like the second level of Puerto Princesa departures, there's actually like three or four little restaurants, including the Seattle's Best Coffee, which is surprising, and a waffle shop. <laughs> what is the menu? Like I just see like a thousand things posted everywhere. <laughs> I can't tell what's the menu. There's a tuna garlic ranch option. For breakfast. This is not for me. In a waffle. In a waffle, like a taco. Corn, beef, oh, wow. and cheddar one. Is that what you're getting? Maybe. Look at that. You see that? Caramel butter. No. Butterscotch butter? Something like that. Cool. It's actually very delicious. They called this a waffle witch. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool. I got corned beef. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Corned beef and waffle. Never had that combo before. But when in the Philippines, it's actually really good though. <laughs> we are so sad, but we're finally leaving Palawan. Oh, it's, you're right. It's been an amazing few weeks. I've just we've just loved it here. Oh we're back. It's so beautiful, but we have heard there are also more beautiful places around the Philippines, so we gotta check those out too. We'll be back. We'll be back. Alright, we successfully made it back to Manila. This is where we're doing our layover. Yeah. It was absolutely no fuss on that flight, except that we didn't get to sit together. So sad. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, we've made it. We've had to like leave the security area though. Our bags are going straight through, which is great, but we've had to leave the security area and we've got to like get re-security through. So we'll go through this again. I, I want to say that we arrived and we are departing from the same terminal because Manila yeah. Airport is a massive airport. Huge. There's four big terminals. And we mm -hmm. have arrived in Terminal 3 and we're leaving in Terminal 3. Yeah. So if you are doing like a multi-flight thing with a layover in Manila, make mm -hmm. sure that your flights are in the same terminal. Otherwise, you're gonna have to factor in a lot yeah. of time for transfers because leaving this terminal and going to a different one is gonna take a ton of time. Surprisingly, they took our water from us at Puerto Princesa Airport, like through security, which is strange because I've found like all around the world, if you're in a small airport, they just let you go through with water, but not Puerto Princesa. 9 degrees Celsius this water. She's saying cold water, cold water, cold water. Cool? That's a wrap, baby. I didn't even say it out loud. Okay, so we're trying to find a semi-private spot here to do a little update. If you are um, new to our channel, then maybe you don't know that we have like a members area for our channel. We do regular weekly updates for our members, just like kind of what's going on and like behind the scenes sort of stuff. It's just a way for us to like share more than yeah. what we can fit into a, a small 15 minute YouTube video. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty raw. It's been, <laughs> it's been incredibly raw. And uh, pretty real, I think. Yeah. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, we, we really like it. Any if, of it, it's just like, yeah. here's what you get. Nice little update of what's going on in the week. Yeah. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can hit the little join button on our channel and then like see all the different things that we offer. But I think, I think we could do this just back here. I think we might have found a spot. I think so. I think it's good. Yeah. Guys, I can't believe 
believe it. I just heard the captain say that this flight is only 36 minutes. Like, what's the point? From Manila to Boracay or Catacan Airport, where it's coming from, it's 36 minutes? Yeah. I didn't know that. I guess um, it kind of explains why it's such a popular destination, I think. Okay, we were uh, going on holiday. Yeah. It's like a half an hour flight away from Manila. So, like, of course, oh you go. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, go you for, a speak for a weekend. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of people right. do. So, it makes so much more sense now. It's gonna be a short flight, which is yeah. kind of crappy. There's only like one episode of a show. Nico always wants to watch multiple episodes of a show when you get on a flight. Yeah, or yeah. Or like three or four movies. A good flight is if you can watch Avatar and Inception and maybe Interstellar <laughs> in the same flight. That's a good flight for me. <laughs> Shortest flight I have I, ever I taken. Think me too. This, and uh, look at this baggage yeah, claim. Yeah, look at the baggage claim. It's just there's no conveyor <laughs> belts. They just uh, load them up right here. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, pretty convenient actually. You don't even have to really wait. This must be yours because it's heavy. There we go. All right, we're loaded up. We got our bags back. Yeah. We are at Cataclan Airport, which is the airport that is pretty much the closest you can get to uh, to get to Boracay or Boracay. Boracay. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know what happens from here on out. No. First thing that's gonna happen, I think, is we're gonna use the washroom. Yeah, toilets. And then I think we gotta get ourselves a tricycle. Figure out how to get to the jetty. A jetty, yeah. Hopefully, everyone knows what the jetty is. You're just gonna that's say the jetty. <laughs> so right next to the washroom, conveniently, there's like all these stands like of like stuff that can get you to the port, like vans or tricycles. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think we get a tricycle for 50 pesos each, I think, which is great. Literally asked to get a tricycle thing. She gave us a sticker, it's like, go outside. I think they're just like a standardized fare, which is really, really nice. So, I'm supposed to put this on my shirt. Hello. Tricycle, tricycle outside. Yeah. Guard house, guard house, okay, right side. Go to the right side? Okay, go to the guard house and go to the right side. <laughs> the other option for this was to get a bus instead of the little tricycle. Um, which is 100 pesos each and like, I think it's just because it's a little bit more comfortable like more space for your bags and stuff And if you're a single person it would probably be simpler because you're gonna pay the same for the tricycle because I think it's 100 to get like the whole tricycle We just had to be two people so Conveniently we pay 50 each and fill up the whole tricycle because there's only two spots. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> and blue sunny skies. <laughs> We're not there yet. This, this is not what I saw in the brochure. <laughs> All right, so far it definitely feels like tricycle is the best way to go. You guys don't have to wait for like everyone else to load their bags or anything. We just yeah. like this all happened so fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so <far. laughs> uh, and this ride's been probably five or six minutes. And we're at the jetty. Oh wow, that was fast. That was fast. <laughs> Just like the plane ride. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, if you like are staying at like a resort or a hotel in Barakai that has like it is a lot fancier than the one we're gonna probably be staying in, you can get them to like organize all these transfers and stuff for you so that you just like walk out of the airport and everything's taken care of for you. But naturally, we're doing it the do-it-yourself method, which is a lot cheaper. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's us. Okay, so we learned that the first thing that you do before you buy a ticket is you have to go to this like uh, wall where they have, register you and they verify uh, that you have like a booking. Oh, here we go. It's just the way that they control tourism. So apparently, Barakai was really like 
they said over touristed uh, to the point where it was impacting the in health of the environment so I think the government cracked down on it they closed for a while they cleaned up and then they re-implemented some more control measures one of which is that you have to have like a booking to go into the island um, like a reservation like at a hotel and stuff and they verify all that here at the jetty port before you can even buy your ticket to get there <laughs> Oh my god, this is kind of comedic. I'm literally going line by line by line to buy first the environmental fee, then I bought the boat ticket, and now I have to pay the terminal fee, which is like three times more expensive than the boat ticket. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like it should just all be in one, you know? Like, come to this counter and you pay your whole thing. Huh? Oh man, okay, last one though. Last ticket. <laughs> I really feel like stuff's just happening to me at this point, but everyone knows what to do except me, so it's fine. Yeah, like, like hands are coming out from the sides just asking for our paperwork. We're like, I don't know, just take them all. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure we're like in the lineup for the boat and I read online that the boats come like every five minutes like they just like come up fill up and immediately leave so if what I read is correct we should be like in and out really fast like we said earlier we didn't do a lot of preparation for this but you know what this is pretty smooth these guys know what they're doing the wind is making the water look a little bit choppy it looks a little sketchy jumping on but thankfully I think it's only what, like 10 15 minutes to on the boat to get from here to like Barakai Island, so should be all right. <laughs> it's kind of scary. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that wasn't actually so bad. <laughs> it looked way worse than it was. Situation updates. It's not good. This is gonna be a very seasicky kind of boat. Yeah. Because like you're kind of enclosed, and everything's just swaying. Nicole's, Nicole's already having a hard time. She's already planning her exit route. She needs to. And I can't barf. go back because there's like luggage blocking everything, which means if I get sick, I have to go forward and puke in front of everything. <laughs> yeah. This Don't worry. Be really interesting Ten minutes. Call. Ten minutes. <laughs> So yeah, we're here. Ten minutes later, it was not that wide. Well, some of us. For others, it was. <laughs> it was the hardest thing we'll do all day. <laughs> Last step of his journey, I think. Yeah. I think we have to get a tricycle. I'm pretty sure. Again. We're in Barakai. Worst case scenario, we just walk to where we need to go. But uh, yeah, welcome to Barakai. Okay, so it looks like right when you come off the, the jetty on the Boracay side, it looks like there's a bunch of vans and stuff here. I'm going to assume that those are for all of the hotels, but it looks like it. All the hotels who like would send you to, um, like to get a transfer, you're going to pick it up right here. But for us, do it yourselfers. <laughs> I think we're finding a tricycle here. Pretty sure. And look, so right on the beach here are all of the boats that like that belong to the hotels. So if your hotel has its own boat, it comes and picks you up from Barakai. So them's all the fancy people. Us non-fancy people are gonna go find a trike. <laughs> Sunset Road. Okay. Uh, Pretty sure we're being massively overpriced for this, but we just wanna get to our hotel, so.
We're here. Yes. We, we made arrived. it. Home for the night. Um, I think we're gonna wrap up here, guys. That's yeah. it for the travel day all the way to Barakai. Pretty smooth, but I gotta say, I'm super excited to see what Barakai has next Me month. too. Hopefully on a bit of a better weather day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Do you wrap? Come on, cold water. Cold water. We're in Manila Airport getting some water. Cold water. What's my stomach? We really need help with wraps. It's a really bad wrap. It's a really bad wrap. Okay.